Mano already pre-labeled up the vial for her, held it right there. All Amy had to do was go ahead and put the sample right inside. Today's exercise is a part of uh, an annual training we provide for all of our hazardous material specialists and environmental health specialists. Traditionally, it's a has whopper training, which helps them to stay skilled in doing work in hazardous waste operations. Bring it back out, remove the string, put the top on top, get it into the back. Bioterrorism readiness helps us to be better for the very unlikely event that uh, we do become victims to the release of a biological agent over our community. The protective gear is there to help protect the responders and the sample teams from uh, unnecessary exposure to the select agents that they're trying to protect. For this particular exercise, the uh, responders will use a level C level of protection, which means they will have on chemical protective suits or biological protective suits boots, two types of gloves, and then respiratory protection to the extent of a HEPA filter or an N95 mask. We specially train them on the different types of techniques that they will need to collect these samples. So specifically, how do we want to collect a soil sample, a water sample, or wipe samples? And when they're collecting this, they are working together as a team. Generally, a four-person team is there. There will be a lead sampler. It is his role to identify the optimal sample location, and then he is assisted by a sampler that provides him the equipment that he needs to collect that sample. And together, they make sure that that's properly labeled and packaged. And there'll be a third person there, which is our documenter. He photographs the location where the samples are collected. He records the information onto a chain of custody for us. And a fourth person that is there is uh, the team public information officer. So as the team's doing their work out in the field, they may likely be approached by a member of the community and that public information officer for the team's job is to go out and approach that individual and answer any questions that they may have there. The overall benefit is fairly significant. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is some of the first type of training that's being pushed down to this extent to other county workers that are outside the standard role of a first responder. Uh, as many people may not realize, most county workers are disaster service workers as well, too. They will be called upon to help out in time of need, uh, to assist the public and the community in whatever extent they can. For this particular case, we're leveraging the existing skill sets of these specialists to perform kind of a higher task. Get one with some aphids on it. We're definitely ready now, much more than we would have been five years ago, for example. Um, hopefully, we will never have to use this sort of uh, response. We are ready for it.